Hey guys, welcome back to new video. In this video, we're gonna create a to-do list application and I am not going to write a single line of code. All of this code will be written by our Cursor AI code editor. So Cursor was recently introduced and it's a very powerful IDE, believe me. So let's get started with our journey. So first thing first, we need to install this IDE in our laptop. So for that, simply open up your Chrome browser and in this, just type Cursor. AI. Click on this first link, download it for macOS. By the way, I have already downloaded this, so I'm going to cancel it. And now it's time to open this ID. So for that, I'm using your cursor. Click on it. So this is the cursor AI IDE. Now it's time to create to do list application in our Android Studio. And at the end, we will open that project in this cursor AI code editor. So we have new project, empty activity, you can give the name. So I'm gonna say this, to do app, finish it. So it take a while to complete this. All right, so it's done now, it's time to use Cursor AI. So just drag this thing over here, click on this open project, Android Studio. Uh, this is our to do app. So simply open this folder in this IDE. Now we have all of the file listing over here. This is the place where you will see the file which you have been opened and this is the place where you can use talking to your AI. So I just say this build a to do app with all crud functionality. As you can see, it will start generating the codes for us. And also at the top, it will provide you the documentation regarding this application that uh, he is going to create. So these are dependencies. Uh, we have to do the interface, then the database creation, basically all the things which we want in order to build this to-do app, it will do everything for you. And once it's done, Okay, so now it's creating our view model. Uh, okay, so it takes a while. Okay, so this is our to-do view model. And I believe lastly, it will create our user interface. Okay, so this, this is our to-do item. Add edit to-do screen. So this is another screen in which you can actually add or edit your to-dos. Nice. And now it is creating to-do list screen. I mean, this screen is used to show all of the list of to-dos that we have, I believe. All right, so this is completed. Now it, okay, so now it set up the navigation things. Okay, so this is for our main activity. And now it is doing some theming for our application. All right, so theming is uh, currently applying in our project. Okay, so it's done. Now it is working on the typography, color and typography basically. All right, so I think code generation is pretty much done. And lastly, it mentioned all of the features, all of the things that it is uh, used in our project. So as you can see, create a new to-do with title and description, read and display to-dos in a list, update existing to-dos, delete to-dos, mark to-dos as completed, incomplete, uh, modern material design 3 UI with Jetpack Compose, uh, room DB for local storage, MVVM architecture, navigations, dark theme support. So basically it does everything for you. Now you can accept these changes, these file changes one by one by clicking over here or you can accept all of the things that this AI will tell you by clicking on this accept all. So I'm gonna click on this and all of the code that he mentioned over here is applied to our project. So now come back to our Android project. Here we have, so first we need to sync our project. All right, so we have a problem related to KSP. So I'm not going to use KSP instead. I'm using here KAPT because the sole purpose of this video is to see how Cursor AI will work with our project. We are not learning here KSP and KAPT. Cool. So 
yeah i think apt is applied successfully i'm gonna again try this all right so it is done now it's time to see all of the changes that our cursor ai does for us okay so we have the to do over here we have our data access object as you can see here we can get all the to do's insert update delete get to by id then we have our database creation as you can see over here it uses a room database to do repository uh, so we have all the CRUD operations uh, it created few components so this is our to do item next we have screen add edit to do screen and we have to do list screen we have some theming stuffs to do view model all right so lastly we have our main activity okay so we have a problem here it says require true DAO but found true database okay so to do DAO, i believe this will work so for time being let's execute it and see what other problems we have okay so i'm gonna just change this from safe to uh, we have a lot of uh, let's say check we have one more problem just uh, okay so remove it and re-execute it okay so this is our app uh, when i click on this plus this is the place where you can add or edit so i'm gonna use here first and in description i'm using first description click on this button to save it okay so this is our first to do uh, when you click on this it says your to do is completed when you just uncheck it that means it is not completed yet you can very easily delete it by clicking on this delete icon but before that i want to see whether edit is working or not so just click on this to do and here i want to update it as you can see the title is also changed from add to edit now when i click on this check it successfully updated our room database with the new information that i have entered now when i click on this check this means it is completed when i just undo it it means it is not completed let's see whether delete is working or not yes it is working so as you can see uh, we have just written a single line of instruction to our cursor ai code editor and it will create all of the things what we want so this is the video and i hope you got the point the importance of cursor ai id so that's all for this video i hope you enjoyed a lot it's a very small video but at the same time it's very interesting to see uh, all of the things is delegated on ai and ai will do it for you so we will meet in our next video where we will discuss something new about android till that goodbye